so happy here to be in Jordan. Uh, it's a remarkable day. We had a great conference with uh, a lot of MinaFAT member countries, a lot of experts. And this day we have covered uh, the new requirements of Recommendation 15 and its interpretive note and how the FATF expect countries to implement these uh, requirements. Recommendation 15 uh, have been amended in uh, 2018. Now it includes new requirements for countries, like the countries should identify and understand the risks related to the vir virtual assets and virtual asset service providers' activities. Also, countries are required to license or register these uh, virtual asset service providers. And finally, they can treat the virtual assets providers in the same way the, the, the countries treat the, the financial institutions. Based on the FATF methodology, countries have to decide whether to uh, regulate the, the virtual asset service provider or prohibit or ban the virtual uh, service providers. In case of they are if the country have decided to uh, regulate, they have to implement the whole criteria uh, listed in their, under their, require, their recommendation 15. Otherwise, if they have decided to uh, prohibit the, the vast they have to follow another criteria like uh, the, 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 the criteria 15.3, 15.5 and 15.11. Uh, it's really important for countries and the, the experts that we are having today to understand the differences between each approaches and the requirements and uh, how to implement them in their countries. Such a conference is very helpful. I would like to appreciate or send my thanks to the Global Facility for conducting and working in such a conference. Uh, we, ha we are having now uh, more than, I think, 90 experts from different countries in the MENA region. Uh, I would encourage uh, more experts to be participated in the future such a, uh, because uh, such a, a topic is very important and has been evolving a lot in the recent years. Uh, we have to increase uh, the knowledge in this area in the virtual assets and the virtual asset service providers.